Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Cafe. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Feed the Beast Resurrection for episode 6. Now, last episode, we set up uh, what can only be called a contraption, I guess, that was supposed to double our ores and uh, smelt them up into ingots. And as you can see, look at this. It is working absolutely fantastically. We have a macerator that's turning our ores into the broken ores that are then getting hammered into dust, that then get smelted into ingots, and then getting sent to this chest. Uh, I have made a couple of improvements to the system since the end of last episode. Uh, namely, I've gone ahead and added a second small coal boiler down here because just one coal boiler was nowhere near enough. And if you're wondering why it's down here and kind of not like next to it, uh, mainly I didn't want to make another uh, Acris accumulator. So I kind of just stuck it down where it could get water from the one Acris accumulator. And it seems to be working just fine. We did have to make uh, a few more small bronze fluid pipes. But that's fine. Uh, we've got two more left up here. We should be good. Uh, I did have to move the macerator back one space so that we could put the hopper down because originally we had the macerator here and things were getting pulled out. And then on the way up, they would go back into the hopper which uh, didn't really work out all that well but we do now have a fully functioning system and if we have a look in this chest boom we've got quite a bit of stuff which is pretty nice a lot of iron quite a lot of uh, copper a little bit of bronze which I actually brought from uh, inside that didn't smelt up we didn't have any like bronze ore that we could turn into bronze ingots uh, a little bit of tin not a lot of gold which kind of worries me a little bit but i think we should oh we got a bit of gold here uh, but i think we should be good to uh, to do some stuffs so <laughs> this system works but, like, I, I've got some gold here, and I don't want to put it in the system. Because what happens is, if we put more than one kind of different type in the system directly after each other, it gets backed up. Because at, right now, uh, what's going on is sort of we have a hopper here, which sends the stuff into here. And, and then it goes round. But if the ham the hammer is usually not the slow part. The slow part uh, is usually the furnace here. Because the hammer is pretty much instant. You'll see when this thing drops in, in a second... That the hammer works pretty much, like I said, look at that, pretty much instantly to uh, to turn that uh, impure, that broken ore into impure dust. But the furnace takes a while, and if we were to put some gold in now, the gold would get broken up, turn into dust, send along here. And then when it gets to here, it would try and go in, and then when it couldn't, it would spit it out. So I think, to be honest, what might be a better idea is to maybe put the hopper down on here and do something like this. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we can try. You can see I did die once or twice trying to fix this thing up. Uh, apparently, if you touch these fluid pipes, you like instantly just burn to death, which was news to me, to say the least. But if we do something like that, then maybe what might happen is we could have it uh, all the stuff sit in the hopper until it needs to go uh, into the steam furnace. My only worry uh, is can the hopper accept stuff from the side? We're about to find out. Maybe. Possibly. Um... Um, maybe? I'm not quite sure where they went. Did they just disappear into the void? Did they pass through so quickly I didn't see it? I'm not too sure. You can see we have a lot of tin ore. We can put that in there. We have a bunch of pyrite ore, which I think turns into iron. Yeah, you can see there. That's going straight down through. So it seems like it might be working. Again, I'm not 100% sure because I can't see actually. I didn't see where that went. I think it may have gone straight through. So I think it should work. Uh, again, if we go even more out of hand than this to where we have like a full hopper, we can always put a chest on top and rearrange this a little bit so that the stuff goes into the chest, then into the hopper, then into the smeltery. But uh, this is quite nice. It means that... Oh, let me check this real quick. There we go. 13, 14. Yeah, I think we... I think that works. I think that works. It's going somewhere, and that number went up, so I'm happy. Uh, so, yeah, if things get really out of hand, we could put a chest on there, much like we could put uh, a hopper and a chest on here. But for now, we're actually pretty much out of ores. I went through and uh, checked all the ones we have in here, and uh, pretty much everything that we've got right now cannot be, uh, like, cannot go through the system. It won't work if we try and put any of that stuff through the system, like uh, lignite or amber or I think we had some, like, ruby and redstone. Yeah, none of, none of this stuff would, uh, would really work. Redstone can go through the macerator. But then after that, we either have to uh, we have to put it through, we have to use the hammer on it, and then we have to drop it in water. So we could try and figure out a system that's going to make that work. That would be pretty odd. Have some sort of um, aqueous accumulator with a cauldron on top, and then all the cauldron on the. Actually, we didn't. We have some sort of aqueous accumulator sending water to a cauldron, and then have something like maybe. Uh, a dropper, maybe drop the items in and then like a vacuum hopper pick them up maybe and hope that they don't happen at the same time. Uh, we'll figure something out, but that's not what I want to do today. What I want to do today is I want to start a little bit of automating the uh, the mining of ores because 
flipping mining in Greg Tech, it's it's fun because you go down, there's just like a ton of everything. But it's a bit of a pain because you can go for like 10 minutes just walking around and just see nothing but stone. And then all of a sudden you come across a vein that's got like a 50 bajillion ores in it, which, like I said, can be fun, but also kind of annoying because you spend a lot of time just walking around. And who likes mining? No one. That's that's like half the game at Minecraft. We don't even we don't want to mine. We want to automate it. And the way we're gonna do that is using a mining turtle, which is a way I haven't actually done it before, but a way that actually seems like it could work pretty well. So, in order to make this guy, we need a diamond pickaxe, which we do have. However, ours is a bit broken. Uh, we also need a mining turtle, which is like the world's easiest thing to make. It's a chest, a computer, which is just stone, redstone, and a glass pane. So, we're going to need some more glass. Let me uh, just quickly turn those into ingots. We're going to need some more glass, but that's fine. We can go ahead and shovel up some stuff after we go to sleep because it's getting dark. And no one likes to be out in the dark. It's the worst time to be out and, out and about. I was going to say out and alive, but I guess you could still be alive in the dark. Oh, you wouldn't want to die in the dark. That would be uh, the complete opposite of sleeping. So let's... I don't think that made any sense. Let's grab some sand, uh, some of this stuff over here. And I think we need six to make a glass pane. So we'll go ahead and grab five and add that to the one we've got inside redstone i think we might already have and if not we can always go ahead and, and use the hammer trick and get some using our cauldron and then like i said everything else pretty easy we've got a ton of uh, of um of iron out there stone again fairly easy stuff we've got five here i think we needed six just to be awkward and uh, let's have a look here Yep, we need seven. Okay, <laughs> here we go. We'll take two more of those and we'll start smelting them up somewhere over here. There we go. We'll go one, two. You can smell up in there. This thing's almost done. Do we have any redstone? We do not. But on the bright side, we can go ahead and do something like this. It's a bit of an odd system, this hammering system. Like, you have to use the hammer twice. I'd have assumed they'd have, like, um, used a, a different... Like, maybe the wrench? I don't know why the wrench would work, but maybe something else to turn it into the dust after you'd hammered it. Or maybe you just hammer straight into dust? Would that, would that have been so, so bad if it just did that? Yeah, it'd have been, it'd have been far too easy. It'd have made the game, uh, like, just, just far too easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, where did our, did that redstone just, like, there it is, I got it. I, what? I, I don't even know. Anyway, we've got our redstone. Let's head on back inside. And we should be able to throw this thing together. We'll grab you. We'll grab you, there we go, and we should be able to do something like this. Voila, nice. Then we should have a bunch of wood in our tree farm. Uh, this thing won't have a ton of wood. It hasn't been running for quite as long as this has uh, because I, I, it keeps stopping and I don't come and refill it up. I should do really, I should fill the thing up. Can we use that for stuff? Uh, can we use this for charcoal? I'm not too sure, because I know right now the uh, the steam boilers down there are both out of coal, which uh, which is not good. But for now, can we make that into wood? We can. Beautiful. Let's use this. Let's make a chest. And then let's go ahead and make a computer. Like so. We need to make more iron. And then also, what I'm going to do is, I think we have two diamonds in one of our chests. So, what I'm going to try is, I'm going to try and repair this diamond axe back up to full uh, full force so that we can actually use it for our turtle. No idea if it's going to work because I, I I think it should work. I think two diamonds should easily be able to repair the um, the stuff we have in here. I, I thought originally that we'd be able to get more diamonds out of this because we can macerate it up into two crushed diamond, but then I don't think you can actually smelt that uh, into anything useful. Again, we can hammer it. Uh, that gets us impure piles of diamond dust, which then gets us diamond dust, but I have no idea what we'd use diamond dust for. Uh, let's have a look. Um... Recipe, recipe. Uh, let me have a look at. Uh, I'll, I'll look at a bit in a second. We have to. Oh no! I need, I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Let's see. Use, use, use. Can we use this for anything in particular? We make we can make small piles of diamond dust that I'm guessing we can then craft back yeah into normal dust, which is a bit odd. We could make a diamond grinding head, I guess, if we want to do that. But other than that, we could also make a bunch of carbon dust, I guess, as well. But other than that. It doesn't look like we can get a whole lot. We could make some industrial diamonds if we got an implosion compressor, which we don't have at all. So yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's just let's just throw it back in there. That'll be fine. Uh, while that's doing that, let's make ourselves an anvil, which looks something like ah, we need the compressor. Ah, I completely forgot that we can't make flipping anything in the nine by nine anymore. Let's have a look. Which one is our compressor? That would be that one right there. Let's stick you down right about here make sure the back has some air that 
did not connect up, which makes me sad. Maybe we can go ahead and do this. Yeah? Maybe? No? Let's see. If we throw nine of you in there, does that get us an iron block? Possibly. Flipping, flipping Craig Tech. Yeah, that should, that should work. I'm guessing we're out of steam. Yeah, we're out of steam. Okay. Ah, all right, let's get our good old friend, the Axe out. Let's get some more charcoal and let's get those steam boilers back up and running. Uh, actually, let's, let's not get our good old friend, the Axe out. Let's get our good old friend, the, uh, the steam dynamo back working again. That would make things a lot easier. There we go. Come on, cut down these trees, please. That would be lovely of you if you could just, you know, cut down, cut, cut down the trees a little bit. Uh, let's use this as some. F come on, I don't know what the is this me doing it wrong somehow there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm not bothered about the leaves. I want the I want the wood. <laughs> there we go. Ah, that's better. That's better. Flipping 23 oak logs. Nice. Let's go ahead and smelt some of those up into. Uh, well, we're going to need some of them for fuel, like that. And then let's use the rest of them and smelt them up into some charcoal. Which we can then split amongst everything else. You can sit in there. Thank you very much. And, and now we just need this anvil. So now we kind of just need this charcoal. So uh, let's see if we can grab some of this stuff. Uh, we could go ahead and make the computer. We'll do that in a second. I'm going to really quickly go out and throw this down. Just to see if we can get this thing spinning up just a little bit. I've got to be careful around here. I keep doing these running and jumping and bouncing on stuff. But uh, I'm afraid I'm going to like land on one of those pipes again. It's just going to kill me. Which <laughs> would not be fun. That That should be working. This did connect up, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I also think there's a danger that if you're behind these machines when they let out steam, that you'll die as well. So, yeah, just just be careful about that. Um, let's go back to the anvil. Is that right? Yeah, nine, nine iron in a steam compressor should work just fine. Okay, yeah, I think we just need more coal. All right, while we wait for that to cook up, let's get ourselves a computer, which I believe was just this, uh, this, and this. No? Okay. Oh, it was a chest, obviously. There we go. All right, we got that. Let's grab some more charcoal. We'll split that two, uh, three to each, and then we should, I, we should, this should work. I, I've, it's been, a, it's been like a, a week or so since I played this mod pack, but I'm pretty sure that should work. Okay, it does work good. It just took a flipping a, a long time for these steam boilers to heat up. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break this pipe. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and and wait until all these nine things have compressed up. Uh, I'll do it three times to get all the blocks. I'll be back in a second to make the anvil. And voila, we have three iron blocks, which we can now go ahead and use to make our anvil. Jeez, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Here we go. Boom and boom. Gets us an anvil. And then I'm fairly certain that we should be able to do this. And get a full one. Nice. Okay. And then we can do something like this. Boom. Boom. Or oh, does it have to be up here? Uh... Okay. So I think we found a little bit of a glitch there. I don't think the, the crafting recipe wanted to work with a diamond pickaxe that was originally broken and then repaired using an anvil. But either way, we can now do it. So there we go. Get ourselves a mining turtle. And now if we head on outside... And do something like... Where should we put this guy? I was thinking behind there, but there's not much space. I'm thinking instead, we should go ahead and throw him down somewhere like here. And for those who don't know, basically what you can do with a mining turtle is pretty much the same as what you can do with a quarry almost. So if we go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table, because I'm too lazy to walk all the way back over to that house. What we can do is we can throw this down like so. Get ourselves a chest. And then, what we can tell our mining turtle to do is pretty much dig like a quarry would. And then once he gets his inventory full, which is this section here, come back and dump it into this chest here. So, what I want to do is, uh, I want to check if we've got any spare coal, because we kind of need some, some charcoal. I'm going to take those three for now, which is not a lot of charcoal at all. Uh, we'll definitely get some more at some point. But, for now, we can go ahead, throw this into our turtle. This is the fuel slot. Type in refuel uh, all to eat up all the coal. And then kill this zombie before we die. There we go. Thank you very much. And then all we got to do is type in excavate. Like that. And then the area you want him to dig by. So if we're also doing like 5 by 5 we type in 5. 9 by 9 we type in 9. 12 by 12 we type in 12. I have no idea how big it can go. I'm going to type in 7. 
and let's see what we got. Because as we've said before in Greg Tech, there could be nothing under here. We could put this, we could put this turtle down. He could dig all the way down to bedrock and find no ores. Just come back with a ton of dirt and cobblestone, and and that would be a complete waste. So we're gonna do a small one. We're gonna see if we can find any ores. If we do, we can always just move him over a bit. Like if we find like a vein that goes through this chunk and this chunk, we can always just like move him over one and start again. It'll be fine. Or we could go down ourselves. And just dig into the walls. Uh, for now, I just want him to be able to do stuff. And like I said, once he's finished filling up all of his inventory, he will come back and, uh, and dump all his stuff in here. I don't know how long that fuel is going to last. I'm hoping at least a little while. What we'll probably do between episodes is go ahead and maybe increase the size of our tree farm. Try and get some more charcoal. Go. I'll probably go like deforesting and deforest like the whole of the trees uh, behind here. Get a bunch of charcoal and fill that. That'll probably be a good idea. But with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, sure to hit like. What I'll do between episodes, like I said, is get a bunch more charcoal. I'll move a bunch of the ores, if any, that he gets and throw them into our chests over there to sort of go and process them. And then next time, we'll come back and hopefully we can move on. Maybe progress and get some better Greg Tech machines that are a bit faster. Hopefully, maybe upgrade to somebody getting there at some point to getting a quarry. And then maybe at some point, get into some of the other mods that are not Greg Tech in this mod pack. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.